Alrighty, good evening YouTube. I'm Dustin Cormier, and you're watching How to Rock a Campfire. Today's lesson is going to be on a Led Zeppelin tune uh, called Thank You. Um, now, this is a pretty, pretty easy, simple little tune, uh, but a lot of people don't know what exactly it is, all these weird things that, that Jimmy Page is doing with these chords, and it's kind of funny what he's doing, so I'll try to explain it the best that I can. So, um, <clears throat> I guess I'll just go. Obviously, we start the song with that classic intro, right? <clears throat> so what we're doing here is we're obviously just starting on the D, uh, the D chord and going the suspended. We're changing the suspended fourth. Uh, to the regular D, to the suspended second, and back to the D. Right? Suspended fourth, regular D, and second, second, and then D. And then we're gonna, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take your third finger and you hit the A note, you accent the, the low A string, and then you hammer on with your second finger on that third fret of the A string. With your remaining fingers, what you want to do is you want to sort of keep that D shape, okay? And what you, you do that by barring your first finger over the, uh, the second fret of the G, the B, and the E string, right? And that makes like your regular D chord while your uh, second finger takes care of the bass notes, right? And then for the second one, or for the third chord, rather, uh, we're going to go, it's basically um, a, a G with a B on the bass, okay? Right? Uh, and you're going to do that same hammer on to that second fret on the A, on the a string. And then for that, for the G slash B, you don't need to have a finger on the second fret of the G string, okay? Because it's a G chord, right? Um, and it doesn't need that A note in there because the A is a part of the D chord, okay? So we're going from this D chord to a D slash D slash C, which is basically a D chord with a C on the bass, okay? That's what they're doing. And then, and then the next chord is that G slash B, which is a G chord on the high end, but the B is on the bass on the low end. Yeah, so after you come back to that D, I like to... He does that little G part in there, right? <clears throat> and then this is when we actually get the lyrics going. If the sun refuses to shine So what I'm doing, if the sun refused to shine. Okay, so that's like a, a D slash C, but I'm also got the, the, the E open. Uh, so it's almost like a sort of D add ninth slash C. Okay, so it's a D add ninth with a C on the bass, right? And then the sec, uh, the third chord is just. Uh, G slash B, right? I've got my third finger on the third fret of the B string, fourth finger on the third fret of the E string. Okay, so that takes care of the high, the high end of the guitar. The treble end has got the G note on its face, but the gut, the boots, the guts of the thing are in the key of uh, B, are, are the B note, right? So it's a G with a B on the bass, right? Uh, yeah, one. So that's B minor. 
then to the A. Okay, so sorry, yeah. Can woman I give you my own? Uh, I'll go from the B minor to the E major, and in between then I usually like to hit the E suspended fourth, okay, and then B minor again. the C, little drops of rain, to the G slash B, this world of pain, feels a love lost in the days go by, oh my mind, now this is actually B minor, the inspiration, uh, oh sorry, uh, oh shoot, sorry, excusez-moi, uh, tears of love lost in the days go by, This is one that come back to the B minor again. Inspiration's what you are to me. Inspiration, love and So that's um, pretty much what the whole song is all about. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there that I'm not teaching. So yeah, I'm just going to play it through for you guys, and you guys can see what the whole thing looks like when I play it all the way through. <clears throat> so this is Thank You by Led Zeppelin, and I hope you guys dig it. <clears throat>
the sun refused to shine. I would still love you. Let the mountains crumble to the sea. part but thanks to you yeah it's all right uh you guys pretty much get the gist of it so um yeah give the song a listen and try to uh adapt all the chords that i'm doing to the song i played it with the song and it's in the it's in the right tuning and everything so you should be good with that and uh i hope that helped you guys out with this song it's an excellent song to be able to play with anybody if they also know the song as well um, just you gotta just know the tricky parts. You gotta know the um, the chemistry of the um, dichotomized chords of having the treble face being one chord and the bass, the boots of the chord being in another chord, like the G slash B, you know, the C, uh, the D add ninth slash C. You know, these are all very good chords to know, and Jimmy Page plays them pretty well. Anyway, so yeah, hope you guys dug that one. I'll catch you guys on the next tune.